So this is something different, but still, I thought it'd give you some interest, right? Just being loaded at the moment. We're on a site of a school. There's one of those schools that's been condemned. Now some pictures should show up in a minute by the aid of uh, editing, but they've put temporary classes up, which are marquees and fine, get that. And there's some de demountables over the back, which just gotta make sure he's not overloading me. I'm off the road anyway, so. Um, they're, they're demountables. I think there's something like what we would have had, but I'm not 100%, but anyway, they're, they're temporary classrooms. Now in a picture, what you're gonna see is a building that's slightly taller than the others. That's a new building. I'm not sure if they got any use out of it at all, but it's already been condemned. Now apparently this has happened at about four places in the Southwest and the contract has gone bust. So we've paid for a building, or we've paid for, one minute, he's just gonna put that in and I'll be up to me wait. That'll do you chappy. <laughs> Cheers, Jeff. Just gotta let the driver know that when you're up to your wait, because we've got scales in here. Um, so basically, right, we've just been let out of here. I'll put my sheet across. Cheers, Jeff. Everybody gets called Jeff when you don't know their name, which isn't my house anyway. Cheers. So we pay for this school to be built, but now the people who've built it, which also built other schools, which now don't or aren't up the spare, have gone bust. So we'll have to pay now to get it removed and have a new school put up. And in the meantime, pay for all that temporary accommodation. And because of global warming, I'm on a temporary track at the moment, because of global warming, <laughs> basically just weather they've closed the school because we've got storm whatever it is coming in right which may even get up to 50 mile an hour winds fuck me that i remember going to school in such horrendous weather that if you're on a bike you got blown down the road at 40 50 mile an hour i thought it was cracking now i must admit they are in temporary accommodation so yeah health for safety or whatever but i was saying to me mate i remembered in the old days that we used to, um, when it was really, really windy, we used to have a park a coat on or something like that. And you'd unzip it and you'd stick your hands in the bottom of it, then you'd turn it inside out so it was above your head and use it as a windsock. If it blew really, well, as it just about to blow, you'd jump yourself in the air and it'd blow you backwards. Shit like that, we love doing that. But going back to this school, this concrete cancer thing, which is a thing, all right, it is a thing, but I just don't know to what extent, but isn't it, isn't it amazing how, these days, this better be the right, we're on a diversion at the moment. Some of you may be from the Southwest and some of you may not. I am in, I call it gimp water because of the inbreeding, which used to be a massive thing. But it's actually called Bridgewater. Now Bridgewater is actually the home of Carnival, believe it or not. But they also have Bridgewater Fair. Now you went back years ago, my granddad used to go to it. He used to drive, uh, mate, you wanna go a bit slower than that? I'm in a road where they're firing round here. Oh, there's a young lad. And there's kids are, uh, well, there ain't kids here now, but they could be. Probably, because they're off school. Anyway, going back to Bridgewater Fair, basically it was a place where uh, you would have a lot of um, gypsies and, and local traders as well, bring their horses and sell their horses. And it expanded from that. And then they, they've got stands that would sell stuff and now it is just absolutely monumental as every mobile circuit uh, or every mobile fairground ride comes here and pitches up and anyway you can see it for quite a while actually because they, they end up getting tower cranes to put some of the rides together but it's uh, there for two weeks which means we've got to drive all the way around but if you get the chance right and you fancy taking the kids in your local today, you fancy taking the kids on the uh, unfair, I call it the unfair because of the prices, but yeah, they'd enjoy it, dodgings, ghost train, things that throw you around, things that pin you to the wall. Anyway, there it is. But it was just really about the school, really. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. This building, just scaffolding around it probably not actually been used at all. How much is that gonna cost us? Anyway, there it is. Just thought I'd, thought I'd say that, because 
obviously being there. Do you know, doing this job, I have to say, you do get to see some stuff. Uh, you do get to see all the different buildings that they're doing at the moment, and obviously all the places that they're doing it. Now, in the old days, they just simply have said, you're not building there because it's a floodplain. Apparently, that's not a problem nowadays. You can build on floodplains. What you actually do is you get Muppets like me running endless trucks of um, soil that's a byproduct of when they're digging foot into other parts in building sites, which has to go somewhere, and they're building on a massive scale. Uh, and what we do is we take it to a, a place where they're going to build, and after some person has come along and checked the soil for contaminants and the right whatever, we take it to these places, and they end up building up at least two meters. Now, there's a fair few places in the southwest that have been built just like this. Uh, but the problem is that all of that that used to soak up the water, uh, or the water would lie, won't be there anymore. Um, and all of this goes back into the drainage, or the drain, basically their drains connect up to the main sewers. Um, and obviously you've got different types of drains. You've got sewerage water and you've got the other stuff, haven't you? Well, anyway, my understanding is this, that the people around probably might suffer with flooding now because the other people where it used to hold the water won't hold the water now and it'll actually run straight off because as opposed to it being soil it's tarmac so that's the problem you've also got is the knock-on effect of building these houses so they won't flood because of rainwater basically um, what they'll end up doing is making the old properties the sacrificial lamb that's a problem too especially if you've got an old property um, and I remember people living in a place called Sand Bay now Sand Bay parts of it are below as far as I understand below sea level um, but it was all well and good because they had all the flood defences there and there was no problem so they had their insurance and everything was great now uh, they've just declared them again on a floodplain and some people can't get insurance uh, and the other thing is, whereas we used to, <laughs> the alcoholics and the can chasers are out already, by the way, I'm just watching them. A can chaser is an alcoholic that goes, and he's got the can out in front of him, and he's always got the lean on, and walking a bit funny. Can chaser. Um, I can't lose where I'm going now. No, I have. Fair one. I've just lost the plot. <laughs> lost the plot. Yeah, anyway, floodplains and all the rest of it. Uh, sorry, when you see some of the sites um, in places like Bridgewater, he's absolutely pissed as new already. Or Western Town Centre is another place. Do you know, they put so many rehabs in Western, uh, in one road, they put, I think he's going to have a fight with the truck in a minute. Excellent. Um, they put eight rehabs in one road and they were unlicensed. Uh, in the end, a Liberal Democrat actually closed the places down. Um, but, the problem is, when you invite people into your town from other uh, well, other towns, I should say, and they've got themselves a nasty drink or drugs problem, depending on the, the type of person and character they are, some will get fixed and either go back to where they came from or decide that they like it there and stay, but because they fix themselves, end up being productive. But then there's the massive amount that don't. And they go, I like Western. And they come out of rehab and go straight back on it. And you end up with a high street full of what looks like extras out of, what's the name of it? That film where Shaun of the Dead, <laughs> seriously. And if any of you have actually been to something like Bridgewater High Street or Western High Street or places like that, you've probably got a high street like it yourself. Um, I suppose it was part of the way of killing off the high streets, move everything outside. But yeah, they were just part bench people pissed up or fighting in town or one of them with a fag and everybody's trying to get a drag on it or one of them's just got his gyro as it used to be in the old days and he's getting a massive amount of attention at the moment because all the other parasites know that he's got a gyro and that they want to get pissed off the back of him. Or they end up going back to somebody's place and they're on gear or whatever 
fucking mess, absolute mess. So we've had that in Western for the last 30 years, obviously increasing. Um, and it has changed the face of Western badly, I have to say. That and many other things. Um, Western I used to be really proud of, and I can't say I am now, which is a shame. Um, but we're building all this extra accommodation. And who do we plan to put in it is the question. No, I got a fucking a rough idea. Now there will be a lot of those places that get bought by normal people to live in. But what they do is they always put affordable accommodation or I don't know exactly what the name is. And they've done it local to the village that I'm in at the moment. So you've got all these nice houses and then a few at the back which are small and they've put people with serious fucking problems in there and the police are called endlessly and all the rest of it. Fucking assholes. Anyway, I should imagine that some of you have experienced this yourself or seen it. I know the way I deal with the bastards. But anyway, fancy being paid more benefits just so you can drink more. I never did get that. I'm like, let me get this right. So, I'm living in a Ford Capri at the moment, and I'm entitled to next to fuck all. But that cunt there, who's gonna get his gyro, and go out and spend it on piss, and then go back to robbing places, right? Gets more than me, because he's an alcoholic. So you're, I never get that. Fuck it, whatever. Mad world we're living. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, get it off my plate. I'll see you in a bit.